I'm going to record Just it. Saying. So the issue that I have with pastors is is that they don't understand their relationship to God and to their people, to their to you know. And most pastors, when somebody that has a need or has help and walks in the church, they hand them a a piece of paper with a bunch of places that they can call with the city and the state to get help and support or food or stamps or, you know, shelter or whatever, instead of taking that person in and bringing him into the body. And even if he's drug ridden, even if he's drug, you know, even if he smells like urine, even, whatever, this is my issue is, is they, they want to tout the 10% of tithing, but they don't understand that the reason why the Levites did that in the, in the original days was because they were responsible as the governing body for all of Israel the widows the orphans you know and and the homeless and the people that couldn't take care of themselves the levites took care of them and they also took care of themselves the levites represented one twelfth of the entire population of israel so one tenth of your first fruit was your meat your whatever and that's what you gave to the levites and it was so they could live because it was an equal amount of people a tenth basically of of all that you had of your first fruits not a tenth of your gross, not a tenth of this. I mean, it was a, a tenth of your first fruits, but the Levites were the government. And today the church is not operating in that form and fashion. They have five, six, seven people on staff. Everybody else is volunteer, voluntary. And I'm, I'm speaking in generalities. I'm not convicting every church out there, but you cannot speak to, to, to the tithing element of 10%. If you're not going to take on whether it's food, whether it's money, whether it's supplies, whether it's support, 10% of your entire church population, take them on, get them supported, get them help, get them fed, and start operating your church like the government would, where you, you, you have places of shelter yourself, where you have drug camps yourself, whatever it is that your body needs, you, you're taking it on and in in totality and it's not because you you get 10 percent no matter what but i've never heard a pastor teach that and so they they want to teach that you're responsible to tithe and that because of doing that you're going to gain 10 times or whatever i mean it depends on the pastor you talk to but none of them take on the responsibility of government they always push it to the government and this is the thing that's going to suck in the coming months and years is many of the larger pastors have made deals already with Homeland Security. <clears throat> and they talk about <clears throat> Homeland Security as a, as a good thing. And I'm, I'm not saying it's not. Because I don't know everybody that works there. And I don't know what their main priority is. And um, I have a feeling of what, what's going on. But to tell somebody that's homeless hungry needs support to go into a fema camp versus taking care of them yourself that's just wrong and so and the reason is is in my opinion when people go into that camp they ain't coming out and if you know what's the codes and the laws behind these camps they're prisons they're not camps and that's a very big deal because that stuff um is is coming up and it could be coming up in five days who knows <clears throat> 